everyone. Welcome to our channel. Rebecca Stu and the crew. Today we have a really fun boho decor DIY for y'all. There's a few different projects. Let's go over the supplies we'll need for them. Everything can be found at Dollar Tree. We're going to need four different colors of yarn, hot glue, a bamboo hoop, some foam rollers, and a pair of scissors. We're also going to use some nautical rope. It comes in two different sizes. You can use either one. Also some string of beads and some masking tape. We're also going to be using a frame that was on a canvas. I just pulled the canvas off. One of these wall creation stickers and some craft sticks. We're also going to be using a Dollar Tree basket, two of these tote bags that don't have a picture on them, and one of these um, large signs and some chopping mats. So let's get crafty. The first thing we're going to do for project number one is we are going to take this nautical rope and we're going to unwrap some of it. We'll use some of these foam rollers and we're going to unwrap the nautical rope, cut eight inch pieces, fold them in half and tie them in a knot in the middle. And then you're going to attach them to the end of the rollers by removing the little plastic end and using the hook to attach it. Then you'll attach two rollers in the center using the hooks. Again, just remove those little white tabs that are on the ends of the rollers to put these together. Now we're going to take a piece of masking tape and we're just going to tape the center where the two rollers come together. And this is because this is going to be bent into an arch to create a rainbow. And we don't want that foam roller to come apart and have the yarn slip down between the two pieces and then not have it look nice and smooth. So once you have that done, you're just going to take some yarn and you're going to tie it to the end of the roller. And then for the about the first inch, you're going to have to wrap it around the roller until you get it nice and smooth. And you're just going to do a single layer um, for about an inch down. And then once you've got about an inch or so um, past the end, you can actually just hold the roller in your hand and um, turn it and hold the yarn in place. And then as you turn it, it's a lot easier and just quicker process to wrap the yarn around the foam roller this way. So as you can see right here, I've got about an inch or two um, from the end and I just kind of hold it and help keep it lined up. And then once I have it lined up pretty well there, then you can just roll it around and then hold that yarn in your hand and just keep rolling it um, to match up on the end. So every once in a while, I push the yarn down with my finger just to make sure that it's staying nice and tight together and there's no gaps. Once you're down to the end, you're just going to cut off the excess and use a little dot of hot glue to glue the end of the yarn down. And then I do add a little bit of hot glue to either end just to make sure that the ends stay on the foam roller and don't come loose. So you're going to repeat this process for three more um, colors. I chose to use four different colors for this. Um, I thought it would fit nicely in the frame for the finished project. So again, you just want to wrap the yarn all the way down to the end. And once you get to the end, just cut it off and you're going to seal the ends with your hot glue. So here are all four of them done. And now we're going to work on the ends, which are the clouds. So that is the nautical rope that we um, tied into a knot attached to the end. Um, I first started with this hook. It's like a cricket hook to weed the uh, vinyl. I thought that would help pull the um, strings apart easily, but it really wasn't working all that great. So I ended up switching and using a comb. You want to really start from the ends and work towards the top um, so it doesn't knot. It's just a little bit easier to comb it out that way. And you want to comb both ends of all the rollers here uh, until you have all of those strings separated and laying flat. It takes a few minutes. It's a little bit of a process to get all of the yarn laying flat. But once you do, um, it looks a lot better. So now we're going to take that bamboo hoop. We're just using it as a way to shape the foam rollers. So we stick these foam rollers now that they're wrapped with the yarn inside of the hoop and just use it to bend them into this arc shape. That way they're all pretty much the same size. I thought it was a better way to do it because I was making them pretty much a mess when I was trying to do it um, by myself. So this definitely was a lot easier to use the hoop to shape these. So now we have all four done. We just arrange them the way we want the colors to go for the rainbow. And now laying them on a mat, we're going to start gluing these together. So you just want to put some glue um, right on the inside edge and just work one section at a time. 
and glue all four pieces together. Now we're going to work on straightening up the ends here. So we're just going to take a ruler and one of these rotating cutters from Dollar Tree. If you have one, that's great. If you don't, you can just cut this with a pair of scissors. We just cut them at an angle and we'll repeat the process on the other side just to even them up and have them look a little bit nicer. You do want to comb them out first. Don't just cut without combing them. You want them laying nice and straight. And I just eyeball it. I try to make about the same length on both sides. So I took about an inch off of the bottom. And here's what it looks like so far. Now taking this frame, we just removed the canvas. It was just an old picture we had used. And we're going to um, put the rainbow inside of the frame. And then we're going to just add a little bit of hot glue to either side and attach it to the wall of the frame. And I still have a protective mat underneath because you will get some glue on the table. So just be careful um, with that. Make sure you have something laying underneath of it. Now we flip it over and I took one of those chopping mats from Dollar Tree from the kitchen section. I cut it down to size and I'm just going to glue it onto the back. And then I did flip it back over and add just a little bit of hot glue um, right at the very top of the rainbow and attach it to the mat just to make sure that the top would stay. If you want, you can also take a stapler and staple the edges of this. It's really not necessary. The hot glue is enough to hold it down. I just wanted to make sure that this stayed nice and tight. And so I did use the stapler to staple the plastic onto the back. But again, there's plenty of hot glue. It shouldn't come off, but just in case you could use this as an added measure to make sure that it stays on all the way around. Uh, the frame here. So now we're taking that mirrored Hello Beautiful sticker from Dollar Tree and it is adhesive but I'm going to add some hot glue to the back just to make sure that it stays and we're going to glue Hello to the top of the rainbow and actually have it completely on top of the yarn there. Now for the word beautiful we're only going to put the hot glue where it's going to be attached to the rainbow. The rest of it kind of floats above the backing. And it's nice and light, so just a little bit of hot glue is enough to hold it on. It's not really necessary to worry about that middle section not being attached to anything. And I do still have the protective film on the mirror. So once it's all glued down, then I remove that protective film so that I don't have fingerprints all over it. And this is our first project. You can hang it or just lean it against the wall. Use a picture easel. It's really up to you. I love the way this turned out. Um, initially I wasn't going to put that um, frosted backing on with that chopping mat, but I think it really helped make a difference with the finished product. I just love the way this looks. It's super easy to make. It's a little time consuming just wrapping all of the yarn around it, but it actually is very easy to do. And those foam rollers work perfectly. It's the perfect size for the shape of the rainbow. I use the smallest size the skinny rollers, and again, two for each part. Now for project number two, we're going to use these foam rollers again. Now this is the long skinny ones also. We're going to remove the end, and then we'll remove the end of a second one. And we're going to clip these two ends together. And now we'll take a third roller, remove the end, and we're going to clip that right in the center. Now I just take my scissors and those little hooks, they're a little bit open. So I pinch them together just to close them up so these ends don't fall apart. This is going to eventually create a leaf and that center piece is the center stem to the leaf. Now we'll take some of our yarn. We're going to use the same colors we used before, but we're just going to use three colors this time. 
And as you notice, I still have the ends on the top portions of the rollers. I will take those off later, but for now, we're just going to leave those on. So I start wrapping the yarn around the roller, just like I did before for the last project there. Let me get all the way to the center. Once we get to the center, we're going to kind of cross over each side to make sure that we have that middle well covered because it does want to separate a little bit. And I couldn't really tape this one just because of how much we're going to bend it. It really didn't make much of a difference with the tape on. So just kind of work your way in like an X pattern across the center and really fill in that portion there. And then once you have it filled in fairly well and it's not coming apart and you can't see through the rollers, then just go ahead and keep wrapping all the way down to the other side. If you need to add a little bit of hot glue to help hold the yarn in place, then you could go ahead and do that. Um, I had to do that on a few of mine. So we wrap all three pieces, add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom to finish off the end. And then you'll just remove the excess yarn for now. Now we're going to take these two end pieces and we're going to attach them. So we're going to pull those plastic ends off and attach the two hooks together. And then you can pinch those plastic um, ends together uh, to make sure that the hooks don't come apart. Now we're going to take some more yarn and we're just going to tie it to the bottom. And then we're going to wrap in an X pattern just like we did the top. And we're going to go around the stem to make sure that the bottom is attached to the leaf. And I pull it pretty tight because I want it almost flat. It's not going to go completely flat, but you do want to pull it enough that it's pretty tight. And then I just take the excess yarn and I build up the bottom portion of the stem because I want this a little bit thicker than the rest of the leaf just so that it looks more like a leaf. I just thought it looked better to have it a little bit thicker at the bottom. And that bottom tab on the roller, that plastic piece, we're going to go ahead and leave that in. And you'll just glue the end down. And now we're going to start to wrap the leaf. So you're going to take two balls of yarn that you pull off of the large skein and you're just going to tie this yarn one piece on each side of the leaf. Now we're going to start wrapping it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the right side, go over the center stem and under, and then take the left side, go over the center and under. Now we're going to pull them back to the original side they were on and just keep repeating the process. By taking the yarn, once you've wrapped it underneath and swapping it back like this, it's helping to tie it and keep it tight to the back. You just go over the end and just keep swapping it. So just go over that center stem and underneath. And then you can add some glue if you need to, just to help hold it in place. So over that center stem, underneath the edge and cross it over and then adjust your thread and then put them back on the side they started on. And you just keep working in this way all the way down. If you need to occasionally stop and adjust the threads and add some hot glue to make sure that the thread stays in place, then that's okay. I did that as I went through this whole project. I just didn't show every single time I did it because it would be, you know, hours long video. If I showed you guys every time I, you know, stopped to add some glue or the whole process of me wrapping this leaf. So if you have any questions about how to wrap it, if it's not clear, please ask. I'll try to get to those um, questions and answer them as soon as I can. But I just wrap it all the way to the bottom. Again, I added some hot glue if I needed to, and then we'll cut off the excess yarn and we're just going to tie this in a knot on the back. And then you can add a little dot of hot glue to the back also, just to make sure that it stays tied tight. So I've made three of these. 
And now we're going to make a little tassel. So again, we're going to go back to that nautical rope and we're just going to um, fold a piece in half. This is the nautical rope we've unwrapped. You know, it was wrapped together three pieces. So we're just going to take one portion and we're going to cut that off and we're going to create these little tassels. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and comb them out first. If you feel like they're coming apart and being pulled out from the middle, you can go ahead and tie them off at the top uh, first and then comb them out. So once you have them all combed out, you're just going to um, wrap some coordinating yarn around the top end where you folded them over and then just wrap the yarn around and you can either tie it off or you can use some hot glue to finish the end. We're going to make one for each leaf. So I use the different colors of um, yarn to coordinate with the different leaves and then I kind of swapped them. So the gray one has the tan, the red one has the gray, and the tan one has the red orange color. And then we're just going to attach these to the leaves. You could either tie them on with a small piece of yarn or you can glue them onto the front. It's really up to you. I actually made a few sets of these leaves to make a few different projects. So the first thing we're going to do is just take one of these tote bags and we're going to turn it inside out and one of the Dollar Tree baskets. There's my cat helping me. And all we're going to do is lay this in the basket and make it like a liner. So that's why we had it inside out. So when we put it in the basket, the good side is showing. So once you pull it over the ends, you just want to keep tucking it down into the basket until it looks nice and smooth. If the side has too much hanging down, then you'll just want to adjust it and add more down into the basket and kind of tuck it more down into the edges. So I have about two inches showing all the way around. It's nice and even. And then I'm just going to take the leaves and fill the basket and a few of these wicker balls and I add those to the basket also. You can use these leaves just as a table decoration. Here's the basket with the liner in it. As you can see, I didn't glue it down or anything like that. And then we just filled the basket with the leaves and the wicker balls. And here's our first two projects done. Now for our third project, it's really simple. I have another tote bag and I have another set of the leaves that I've created. And we are just going to add some more tassels to these. And then we're going to go ahead and glue them to the tote bag. Now you can either use this as a tote bag. If you wanted to, you could even stuff this and seal the edge with some hot glue and make it into a pillow. I'm just adding some hot glue underneath and just attaching these to the tote bag. So that was really simple. That's our tote bag. And again, you would just make the leaves like you did the first set. Now for the last project, I think this one's my favorite. I'm taking this large sign from Dollar Tree. They sell them all year, some craft sticks. We're going to cut the ends off so they're square or rectangle, I should say. Add some hot glue to the ends and we're just going to cover up the opening in this sign. So depending on which sign you have, they may have a star. They have a bunch of nautical themed ones out right now. Um, you just want to cover up that open space. And now we're going to add some yarn to the top of the sign. And we're just going to wrap until we have about an inch wide stripe of the yarn in the dark gray. Now we're going to take the light brown. We're going to glue the end down right next to the gray. And we're going to start wrapping the yarn until we have another inch. We're basically creating like a ribbon on the end here of the sign. You just want to make sure that the yarn is right next to the last one that you put on there. And you just want to keep wrapping it until you have about an inch. Um, if you want to overlap it a little bit, you can. I think it looks nicer if you just leave it nice and smooth like this. And you do want to keep it pretty tight so it lays nice and smooth also. And all you have to do is cut off your excess and glue the yarn down to the back. Try to finish on the back. Now we're going to take some hot glue and glue these leaves down. We're going to start with the gray and then we'll do the light brown. We're going to do them opposite directions just to help make it a little bit more interesting. 
And then we'll put the last one down here at the bottom. I was running out of glue, so I had to go grab some more. And you don't just really want to make sure it's glued down really well. And we'll glue that down to the bottom. And now we're going to take one of those um, bead garlands from Dollar Tree. I cut a piece down and I glued the end and I'm just going to make it wide enough so I can put it on the top portion of the sign here as a little piece of like beaded garland. I add some yarn on the back to cover up the pieces of yarn that I just attached to the back just to have a nice finished look. I didn't want to see the different color yarn on the back. And then we'll take another piece of that um, garland that we haven't used yet. And since we cut it, we had to remove a few of the beads. And all we're going to do is take that end and push it back up through the bead. And this will create like a loop on the bead so the bead won't fall off. You just want to pull it tight and bring the top bead back down to the rest. And now it's tied on. So just as an added precaution, I do take some hot glue and I put hot glue at the end of the bead garland just to make sure that it doesn't come out. And this is going to be our hanger for the sign. So you want to make sure you have enough um, of the yarn that the beads are on to get through the hole and tie it to the back. So I'm just going to put it right through the holes that were already there for the sign. And then I'll flip it over and I'll tie it. You could just add some hot glue to the back here. I felt more comfortable tying it and then adding a little bit of hot glue to the knot to make sure the knot didn't come undone. And this makes a really pretty hanger. You can actually use it to hang it. Or I thought it was pretty just if it would flop over on top of um, the yarn ribbon that we created at the top. It actually looked pretty just kind of laying there as well. Just like an added dimension of um, natural beads there but it looks pretty as a hanger also but you could do it either or so here's a close-up of the finished project this definitely was everyone's favorite in my house by far today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and seeing the four different projects that we came up with for y'all i apologize i know these videos are supposed to go up on thursday i was editing um, but my aunt had passed away and my dad called to tell us about the arrangements and that kind of slowed me down editing and just some other things going on in the family to do with that. So I apologize. It's going up late today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy and make sure you check back later today to see what's new at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.